What's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. Today, we're starting off this hot, sunny, Kentucky day with a run. It's definitely gonna be a hot one. I can hardly keep my eyes open. solid run a little bit over four miles for a good little pace we didn't go too fast and we didn't go too slow but you know what did go really fast my heat exhaustion is that a word is that the proper way to say that I don't really know but I, I got really sweaty and hot it's nothing like some ice-cold water right after the run or maybe it does. That might be, that might be the new tradition after a run. Oh, it's like an ice bath. It's like a quick little shock. Who's calling me? Huh, who is this? There's literally no one calling you, bro. What do, what do you mean, who's calling me? You've like teleported to a different place where you live. Weird. So from my personal experience, running low mileage before doing a heavy exercise, such as deadlifting, is the only way that I can deadlift and run, or lift a heavy weight and still run. You see, later today, we have some heavy lifting to do, but we still gotta run, so I put the run before the lifting. Usually it's the other way around, but I did that, so my running isn't interfered with the lifting. And the lifting will not be interfered by the running. If you're scared that running is going to impact your weightlifting or strength training in a negative way, well, you're wrong. It's actually going to improve your strength training and workouts just in general. This is because running is going to improve your aerobic capacity. Running is going to improve that because your aerobic capacity is now higher, so your recovery time in turn will be slower or faster, I guess and you're not gonna have to sit there and wait as long. You're gonna recover faster. Doesn't that sound great? Imagine being in the gym for like 30 minutes, you hit eight exercises and you're out of there. Now, if you're like a power lifter and you're just sitting around waiting 10 minutes to 12 minutes in between sets regardless for no reason, that's why. Wh what? You're probably one of those power lifters. You have to stay 100, especially when you're running and you're pushing out a lot of fluids from your body. You have to put them back in. I like to use liquid IV because of the salt and the, and the potassium, and you know, it has the other good stuff out there. There's other things like Element, Drip Drop, anything works, anything works. Just stay hydrated when you're running and doing these heavy liftings. You don't want to cramp, do you? Ready to go lift some heavy weight? The factory. Jim. Jim factory. Jim? Last time that I actually deadlifted was a little bit over three weeks ago, coming on a month. It's been quite a while, but that doesn't mean I haven't been not strength training. See, I still do strength training because strength training benefits running. You're basically just making your body stronger, which in turn will improve your running form because your muscles are already strengthened. If, you, if, you, if you're picking up what I'm throwing down. I'm really worried this belt still isn't gonna fit me. 
just like in Texas. It's probably gonna be way too big. It's a little loose, but it'll do, I guess. Once you start weightlifting and running combined, your running form will increase and get better because your muscles are being strengthened by the weight training. It doesn't even matter if you're going light, 315 for reps, 405 for reps, 500 for reps. Your muscles are going to get stronger, therefore your running form is going to get better. Five plates for a solid single, maybe a single, I don't know. Not bad for a 190 pound piece of meat that enjoys running more than lifting. Ha, huh, got two, not one. Now we're doing 315 pounds for three sets of about 10 reps of little rest, utilizing that aerobic capacity that I have built from running. And I'll show you here how you do that. Now we wait one and a half minutes also, I did conventional so you guys wouldn't complain about sumo. You're welcome. It's 118, which is solid. That's what you want to keep. You want to keep like that zone two while you're working out. And I'm going back to back deadlifting and you can tell I'm not out of breath. And that's because I'm conditioned from running. From running. And you can just go back to back. Keep that heart rate in a perfect zone and you're gonna benefit. It's incredible, guys. It is incredible. Let's be for real, though. The real reason why you don't want to be out of breath in between sets and when you're done working out is because you don't want to be out of breath putting these weights away because, dude, that is the worst thing ever. That's worse than lifting, though. Just putting it all back. <laughs> well, we got all that weight put away and put to rest, but let's also put to rest something that a lot of people get mixed up with running and gaining size or losing size. I know you've heard the saying that too much cardio is going to make you small, but I'm here to tell you that's not true in no way. So the reason why people say that and why that's a myth among myths is because when you are doing cardio on top of strength training or weight training, you're going to be burning more calories. And when you're burning more calories, you're in a caloric deficit. When you're in a caloric deficit, you're losing weight. You're burning more than you are consuming. Burning more than you are consuming is going to make you lose weight. That's, that's why you're gonna get small. But really, if you're going to eat enough food while doing cardio, while running on top of strength training, you're not gonna get small. You're not gonna get lose gains. You're not gonna, <laughs> it's all just silliness, man. Unless you wanna lose weight, then you don't need to eat as much food and you need to stay in that caloric deficit to ultimately lose weight. But if you don't and you wanna maintain, you need to eat the same amount of calories that you're burning you need to consume. If you want to gain, you need to consume more than you're burning. So if you're doing both activities, you're a hybrid athlete, you need to consume more food if you still want to get big. Now, you might look at me and be like, this guy has got small in the past months and my goals might not be the same as yours. See, I need to lose weight and I need to get lighter so I can run faster because army things. I need, I need, I need army things, that's why. Now these two activities, strength training and running, go hand in hand. You can't have one without the other and you can't have both without the other. If you're just running, you're not gonna get the full benefit of strength training as well. And if you're just strength training, your aerobic base and capacity is going to be straight garbage. You know what they say, a healthy heart is a healthy life, right? There's a healthy wife, healthy life, something like that. I'm not claiming to be no exercise expert, but I have experiences and I like to share those experiences because I've done both. I've just focused on weight training before, most of my exercising career, and I've just focused on running before, a small portion. And now I'm focusing on both and I absolutely love it and I cannot recommend it anymore. Now I definitely missed out on some key things about running, strength training, weight training, all combined and how they benefit each other. And I plan on making another video soon about those more in depth, more scientific, 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 but all around more educational video. But I do need help. I'm enjoying this journey of learning running and weight training and balancing the two. 
And I hope you guys can do the same thing. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll be back soon with an even better video. Did you think it was gonna end? No, it's not. Please check out my portfolio. It's gonna be the first link in the description. Um, that'd mean a lot. It's a bunch of photos that I've taken in different countries, in different places, in different states, and all that sort of thing. I, I mentioned it in my previous video, which if you didn't watch it, you go watch. All right, now for real, goodbye. Like and subscribe.